time right here, man. We we finna get y'all an exclusive, man. I mean, real exclusive. We finna take y'all down through there. You know what I'm saying? It was gonna be some docky hood, but me and my brother say F that we just gonna come together and just bring them in the Kalyon world tonight. Man. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all know where the boss hall came from, how how it came to be. You know what I'm saying? The the, the fat pat ties, the three two ties, man. We just, we just finna go down through that, man. So I just want to go back, bro. Like you 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 know what I'm saying? I want to know about Lil Mike. Man. I know about Lil Mike right now, but I want to know about Lil Mike Third Ward, Mike. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and what was the, what's the Alice? What's the address? Man, first, what the address was? Yeah. first, man, Smiggity Mike D, Boss Out, Carly On, man. Thank you for having me, man. You know what it is. We family, man. Love. Man, little Mike come. I had an older cousin that was really my brother. It's a family secret. Come on. My daddy was messing with his mama, you know, rest in peace. And uh, they thought we didn't know. My mama never liked my auntie. And every time it's time to go over there, when my daddy died, bro, she moved us up out there alley so fast. She got her paperwork and got up out of there, man. Moved her, slap up out of there. She didn't want to be around my auntie there, man. I'm talking about. So I would still have to go back on the weekend because, you know, we're in this new neighborhood. And I don't know none of these people, but I want to go back to the hood. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Mike, Michael Theus, rest in peace, man, was my older cousin, which is really my older brother, man. That's why she named this nigga Michael, and the family secret was they thought we didn't know. Damn, so I was little Mike. He was really his first son. So you was little Mike. Mike yeah, yeah. But then come to find out years later, he had more than one son. Papa was a rolling stone. Papa was a rolling stone. So he day. They moved down here, man, from Louisiana when we was like five. <coughs> when I was like five years old. So we moved to Third Ward, man. So the nickname Lil Mike came from my daddy being Michael Senior and I'm being Lil Mike. And then to differentiate me and my cousin when we was together like like that every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Big Mike, Mike Lil Mike. Mike, you know what I mean? So we was in the alley. The alley is off Dennis and Darling, man popularly known now as Emancipation Boulevard. Okay, yeah. Right in front of Wolf. Oh, well, you know, well, Lee, Lee Kai ass Brian, that Oh, you know, you know about Lee Kai? I heard about Lee Kai, but well, who, the, who, 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 the, the mist. So, so, so the alley, we had a, you know, a population of kids. We was our own little community, little sick community right yeah. back there, bro. We were in the hood. Hood in the hood, like that's how Third War was back there. You was very segregated. Lucky Seven hung with Lucky Seven. The bricks hung with the bricks. The needle was a needle. Da 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 da. So on. Our house before my grandma stayed on Char on St. Charles. So we would. This is so funny. You know where the, the taxi stand at the Brown Taxi. Remember the old uh, Square Deal? I don't know if y'all remember yeah, Square Deal. Square, Square Deal. Yes, bro. So on the side of that was uh. Another family that, you know, we had the ugly house in the back. Well, my grandma had the ugly house in the back. The first yeah, house. Yeah, the the big house was the nice one. So yeah, from, one from Square back. Deal, so we would have everybody drop us off in the front. Yeah, 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 and yeah. we walk through the back yeah. like we really stay yeah, here, yeah. but we go we back to the, to the slum. To you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what that's where that alley come from, man. So. We and then across the other that across over there we moved over to the alley and the thing about the alley we was our own community bro everybody was family over there you know what I mean yeah. but it was alleys within the alley mm -hmm. so going up Dennis yeah. to the alley was a one way dead end in the middle to separate the apartments from the shotgun houses was, was another alley yeah. but now you can jump the gate and go through the alley, the back alley, to go back up to Emancipation Park. On, or you have to walk all the way around. So it's a series yeah. of alleys. Yeah, really series of alleys. Yeah. Like yeah. Like, yeah. So at night, when the street light come on to get our little bad ass from outside back in the house, uh -huh. we was one of the only families, Miss Miss Tasha and my baby mama, uh, mama, 
the only ones who had a phone in the whole apartment complex back then. Everybody coming through that. Yeah, we, well, we was poor. You didn't really use the phone. You just made 911 calls to the, or if somebody needed to, yeah, you, you know what I mean? Like, that. yeah, that's where you come. Right. Use the phone. So to get our back then, they tell us leak eye. It, it, like his eye used to be leaking. So they tell me, but the was really notorious for rapes and a serial raper. He was a serial raper, but we didn't really know the magnitude of it. But it was like saying Freddy Krueger name back in the day. Yeah, so we not walking that back alley to cut across to go to Lawrence Stowe. Oh no, 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 that damn when the street light come on. We got Gladys, them in the front. We in the middle. Sam them in the back. So they would tell on you. Leak out was just like Freddy Krueger. That's how they kept the young in line. So they, but he in the penitentiary now, like for life. Yeah, they know boys in the comments gonna talk about Leak out, man. He, I think he terrorized like South Union, fucking South Lawrence, Sunnyside, and and four four. So yeah, it's a little be bit before so you. That's yeah, what, that's what we need to know in these comments, though. Right, right. Oh yeah, they gonna. What neighborhoods got 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 terrorized by, by Lekeon? We need to know. Yeah, they say down there taking them boys, but in that penitentiary, if he's still alive, that's the last I heard. He died to take. But Lekeon, still taking to this day. You feel what I'm saying? Chasing it. Hey man, we gonna keep it rolling though, man. Cause I got a whole lot, man, to talk about, man. You know, when I was younger. I just, I used to see y'all in these cars, man, and mm. I used to wonder, and it, it, it motivated me to another level, you know what I'm saying? And, and to this day, I, I, I want to know, man, how you get a Benz at 16, bro? Man, <laughs> bro, you know, rent dope in cars, do you remember that shit? I went to Color Middle School. Exactly. So, you so know I, know. I had this lick. Conrad Hargis, he used to have a vocational college downtown with the building and everything. Like it was a vocational oh, right, right, college. Right, right, right. And he Rich was crackhead. he was my lick. Come on, man. The man had a custom van, a 560 Benz, but it was diesel. He had the 420. So he smoked one of them hoes up on the motherfucking Benz. He had like four or five of them. He benched one of them hoes and you end up getting it. Nah, he just basically, yeah, basically binged it, but he would, what I would do was give him an ounce yeah, a week or uh, every other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what happened, I rented it so long to where he was like, yeah, just keep that. <laughs> just give me woop to woop until you Cash. pay it off. And I'm basically bought it in work. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm 16. This is my first major car. You know what I'm saying? So I wake up, go to bed in it. That's you. That's mine. Yeah. You know, midnight blue. Seen that. That's for the green, y'all. Yeah, That's yeah. Right, it's, the it's the first Benz. It's the first Benz. Yeah. So it's another Benz. Yeah. I went to TYC in that car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mike. From y'all apartments. From South Lawn? From South Lawn, bro. Come on. I'm bro. back there messing with, with, with Missy. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Uh, uh, yes, bro, I'm you know, back you know, there. We, she older, right? Yeah. So, <clears throat> here it is. You got you damn near cougar. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was I was sixteen. So yes, in her twenties though. Yeah, at that time, probably yeah, like probably like little middle middle age twenties. Okay, yeah, somewhere up in there. And I'm I'm sixteen at the time. Yeah. So I had my first daughter at sixteen, Aisha. The day that I had her, we were celebrating. I came from the hospital, the baby mama, we getting ready to take, I took my baby from, my baby mama from the hospital to the state that my mama went and picked up Missy them and Troy girl, yeah, I mean, we all went. Yeah, and we went to Carrington's. This is before, when Carrington's was just the pool hall. When you meet up there, it was free pool on certain days. Like cornbread was just pool. Now, when you, people needed ID. Since I went to Kansas, how the hell you got in there at 16, bro? Bro, we started that night. We made that night popular. That's still popular to this day by hanging out, hitting our licks in the in the Car parking lot. The that worked the ballet right now, his daddy was a pimp. That That's who house I used to work at. Wes, oh, Wes, y'all know Wes work in the parking lot of yeah, Kansas. Still his, his, yeah, yeah. Still his, to this day. His daddy, his daddy was pimping snow. 
and the nigga caught AIDS, and he would like be. It was early with AIDS, so he would be smoking crack and have his was in the house, and I was the dope man. So we could. This was the first crack house on South Main on that uh, ridge, whatever them apartments, the brown tops, and the, bro, why them little over there trapping? I was first over there trapping. It was a nigga named Judge. When his wife go to, she worked the airline. When she leave. We turned it into a smokehouse. Oh so God. I sit in there, and, and back then, you know, South Main was a prostitution strip. Uh, up and down that month. That was one of the first ones on the South Main. Yeah. All the pimps right turned to crack and powder. And I'm the young serving these n****s. I was one of the experience. first one had rocks over there. Yeah. So all my third ward and Sunnyside rocks I go get turned from $10 rocks to $20 rocks over here, $50 rocks. Yeah, yeah. I'm that, that, servicing that white folks. That's what Before it was. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. So right. everybody that come in would have to smoke 50 or better to stay. Yeah. So you got the female, you go in the room with the female, pay snow, his fee, mm -hmm. and buy the work for me. And I sit in there and serve you. You go in the room, get served, smoke, whatever, when your time up. You got to go. You got to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a revolving door. So right? that's that's yeah. how I got the bins and was able to maintain it. I got that lick over that. Let me, let me, let me tell you what it was, too. The got busted on South Main with some prostitutes. And back then, if you got caught with a look crack, they considered you like a kingpin because right. he had money. They was trying to take the man's That was the law then. Yeah, they was trying to take his because he got busted with a straight shooter, some rocks, and some prostitutes. It hit the news and everything. I'm with Missy in front of Yates going drop off. I drop her off the night after we celebrating at Carrington's, right? Yeah. We go get a hotel room. The next morning, I drop her off, and one of her people, I stole Duke Lick, <laughs> wanted me to take him to cash his check. Yeah. And he was going to hit. Now, don't forget, back then, you read on the spot. I had nine zips in my baby girl diaper at that time. Up, yeah, in the diaper bag, you know what I mean? So I'm like, hell yeah, yeah, let's do it. I take him to the store across some way. We end up by Yates at the store over there. <clears throat> so it's getting Yates letting out. I'm in the bins. Come on, man. I got my Peco pants on from the flea market, my, my ripped up outfit, you know, nugget jewelry, <laughs> nugget Seiko watch, nugget bracelet, dookie rope on, Come you on, know what I'm saying? Oh, big yeah, draped yeah. Draped up and dripped out. 16, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Draped up and dripped Rings, out. and so when I'm passing by Yates, of course I want to highlight the brows. I got my lick in the car. And I'm in a bin. I get all the windows down at the roof back. <laughs> Open up the doors to that hook. I'm jamming coming through that bad motherfucker, right? Hollering out at the window. The jump out boys is in the apartments across. I don't know. They watch it. They, they, they looking at this. They looking for the you, man, you They looking at everybody. You my, I'm you made a making myself known because I'm steady circling yeah. and hanging out, like, jumping out, talking. I didn't go to Yates, but everybody thought I did because I'm up yeah, here like I know him. That the age, though. The players was coming through, man. And, bro, that's what it was. And so I pulled across the street after I get through doing all Instead of me going to the store, hit my lick, drop this boy back off, get get clean, then go finish. Because, you know, you go from Yates to Sterling to Worthy, and you yeah, make that man. ride. You know, you know that route. Right, yeah. So I'm trying to parlay instead of make money. Make money. People see me, I pull across the street, go to the store. He go in the store, come out. I mean, before he could come out, the jump out boys hit me from the back. Boom, boom, boom. I got a 25 in my back pocket. I got a tag nine under the seat. And I got nine ounces I done put to work in the trunk. Hey. I got 4,500 in my pocket. These people, and me jammed me up, got me. Now, they didn't look at the man license plate and realize he got busted. So I'm 16. They cannot believe I got all this work. They take me to the substation in Third Ward, they and they said, all tell you got to do is tell us. Where you got it no, you got it from Conrad. Who is, who is he? No, you need not who he is. We just busted him. He was on TV. We no. want to take his vocation to college. They trying to well, strip they get him. you to say that's his. I work for him. How are you 16? 
this much work, right. this much money, Ain't no in way. a billions. It's not making no sense. I got my driver's license. I had plenty of sense, bank cards, yeah. all that. We was having a little yeah. piece yeah. of money. Yeah. So when when uh, I'm telling them I can't snitch because it's mine. It, even man. that, it ain't even that. I, which I was saying is, I'm going home anyway. They dropped the law back then. Yeah, this is yeah. where they f***ed up. When See the Under Siege came out, they announced that we cannot take these youngsters to jail. We can the take them. Their parents going to come pick them up. That's all we can do. It was such a problem with, with come and get youngsters. Right, right. You know, they, 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 they wasn't trying to deal with all that Your shit. mama come pick you up. Yeah. So long yeah. story, we knew that. As long as it ain't no violent shit, you getting out. So even if it was his work, it's my work. Right, right. I was trained right. Already, right. already. You was trained and solid. Right. You was trained solid. You know what right. I'm saying? That's how, how young you was when you when you jumped off the porch, D? Man, bro. We was I was assisting stealing cars before I started selling dope. You know, I think everybody know that. GTA was a thing, so I would help my cousin, Michael Thiers, my older cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at that age right before I missed the Moe's, and I could have been a crackhead, or I could have been a crack dealer. Everybody that made a lot of money off cranking cars, I'm talking about Smitty, Kenner Bell, Big Nose Jacob, top you had see a Top Dog, fucking uh, uh, Dinky, Michael Thiers. These are boys that's valid. Plackers. Plackers, bro. I'm talking about records. These boys, be you be timing them. Well, I was one of the lookouts. I hollered 12 when the woot to woot. Mm. And before that, when 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 Big Tim and them across from Lawrence, though, they had, they we used to ride our bikes up and down and holler 12 for the heroin houses. Come on, man. So, was off the porch nine, ten years old. You know what I mean? By 16, you were already... Oh, I was already made was nigga saying, by then. By 13, we was going in. I remember 13 when I got my first rocks, Angelo Doc. Mm. Doc yeah. gay. Doc used to run all the crack houses right now. Doc was the man. Doc was Scarface back then. Yeah. He come through in that lack in that trench coat, that pump shotgun up under that trench coat. You paying, Doc. He, <laughs> give, me, he give me four rocks, but... We can't shortstop in front of his. He had, for some reason, he had punks <laughs> working all the dope houses. So you don't feel comfortable in the dope house yeah, because this is a room full of punks. I'm 13, 14, like, you know, but we ganged oh, up. <laughs> so we start going outside and we we created shortstopping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm in the middle of the street, my first time selling a rock. Come on. I got my matchbox open. Got two, three people around me. I open that finna serve a rock, bro, and turn around and the police right there. The serve a rock in life. <laughs> the game so early and I didn't panic. They would need trip. Get y'all ass out the street. I don't know what y'all doing. Get out the street. Bro, I was shaking like a leaf on a tree, my nigga. And I hear my composure, he went by, served my rock, and I said right there, that was like, it's like God always give you a cross in the road, right there. I always say, if I would have been scared enough to not do that, then I probably would have left. I was the fork in the road. You, you was going to fuck up eventually anyway if you ain't have the nuts to stand there and hold stiff. Why the I hear stiff, yeah. made that money, That's sold my rocks. Came back and when I didn't get caught, it made me feel like Superman. Man, and that's when man. I really officially Playing jumped out the right porch. There. All the way off the, the birth of Carleon, right there. Yeah, that was that was that was Lil Mike turning into Mike D. How old you was when you found out uh Bam was your brother, bro? Cause see, a lot of people don't even know that, bro. Well, people that know and people that don't know, a lot but of yeah. Real niggas know. Man, but bro. a lot of these new niggas don't know this. So Bam man. at the car wash. Is yeah, that's brother? my that's my natural you know, brother. Yeah. That's another real nigga that don't know. See what I'm saying? Where I fucking been this bro. All you gotta do is look at him. But, nah, I can think about it and be like, God damn, but yeah. he ain't never even, you know, yeah. like, ever yeah. said yeah. that or nothing. Well, I mean, oh, it's in the song, me and Bama know it's in the J A G. Man, that's God damn. That's, that's when I found that I got out of right, I got out of state right, school, yeah. and it was always you know well, like yeah, was. Yeah. this was when dog I want to say 90, 91, some shit like that. So I go up there, we 
You know, he would have, you know, Bam grew up on the East Coast. Yeah. And South Park. So we kind of knew of each other. And then when I got out of state school, now we're a little old, I'm 17. So now we kicking it. This nigga hit a lick for 50 bricks, bro. I came home perfect timing. Little bro. So I'm showing him, but it wasn't no give you nothing, though. Yeah. The nigga raised me military, bro. That was like my daddy, because he knew I was raised by my mama, so he made sure that a nigga. Still, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know you gonna bust still. that pistol, but I need you to be game shot. Yeah, man, bro, I used to bother that nigga, bro. I used to make sure, hey, I, I ain't even need to front. But I would say, man, I'm going to bother this nigga so much that he going to give me my own brick one day. Mm -hmm. You know, a street nigga dream was to have a brick. Mm -hmm. And I'm 17, 18 at this time. I already have 10, 20,000. So I'm knowing that, man, I need a book. Yeah, I get that book. That was my dream. Niggas prayed for swangers. I paid for a book. Because you knew back then, off a book, you going to make you 5,000 every time you sell that bitch. Well, I That's wanted to sell rocks. Nah, he, he, he oh, Let me tell you something. I got up. Fuck school. I got up at five in the morning before the labor pool, before them people went to line up for the labor pool and get their job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the alley at, bro. You go across the freeway, that pick, that's that little park right there where they used to line up for the labor pool, bro. Fall, Come on, out. bro. So you look. These people though, early morning wake up, before they gonna get. I the give you your wake up, and when you get off, they get paid every day. Hey, I'm back at three o'clock. I've never, and it's all them years I stood on that block. I've never been there when the jump out boys hit because I had a you strict schedule, and seen. I came and collected my money at three. And when I picked my money up, I put my shit back out there. I came back at another time before I went in. Five in the morning, you up. At five in the morning, I'm back up, dressed for the corner. Park, car parked around the corner. I go by the old substation that was Blackshear Middle School, and I look at the cars that's out. If that gold jump out van out and that red jump, I just keep the turn around and go on no, back to my right. mama's house. If it's, if it's parked, I go and go to the alley and hustle. Steve, that's a block, man. That man had to turn me from a rock nigga to buying a half a block and busting it all down in rocks. I didn't understand whole shit. <laughs> that nigga had to make me understand you gonna get more money. Wholesale. Faster. Yes. Faster. Wait, uh, I didn't give a damn because I'm selling a half a book. I'm selling nine. Really no got... cap. I'm selling nine to a half a book every day in rocks bust down. I was the double up. You I spend did. with me, you spend ten dollars, I give you two rocks. You give me ten a hundred dollars, you get two hundred dollars worth of rocks. It didn't matter. If you're you the dope fiend or whoever, I don't care who the fuck you is. You walk up with the money, I double you. So I sold mine fast, but I just wanted to sell rocks. I didn't want to sell weight. And he showed me the difference on how to Man. make it faster. Hey, what was the most money you think you seen, bro, before the age of 18, D? That one time when I came home from TYC, I was 17. I already had, I got caught with 4,500. I had like 10,000 in the safe. <clears throat> but see, I didn't understand the weight process. So I would still have 10,000 and go buy five ounces or nine ounces. It's still a goddamn going, 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 bro. Because I'm buying them out hard. I'm not cooking yeah, nothing at this time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but, but when I. Then, you feel me? It was when Bam turned me on to that yeah, weight. They told you that weight, it was over with. He got 50 years, bro, when when he got jammed up. Yeah. And when they first jammed him, I was the only person who had money. They hit each one of his houses, they got like 650. And they didn't hit my house for some reason. I don't know how I was off the radar, but I can explain to you off camera. But yeah. they hit like 650, so bro was damn near tapped out. I had 100 grand. You kept him alive. That $100,000. Come on, man. Hey, this I made that, before 18, y'all. I made that 100000 last. We had to low, lay low because he caught his case. He didn't want us to hustle. Yeah. Me and Dave, so you and be here, you tell you, we made that money last for at least two, three years before I got my drink plug. Come on, man.
I was working yeah. at, that's how I started working at BAMs. I started running it because we had to get low. BAM had to stay yeah. high, so you got a goddamn. He didn't want me to do nothing. He was military. Yeah, to keep, the, yeah, to keep going. That's when I found out these niggas ain't got no money. So I'm seeing bars. He never, he told me, you go slab, you go state. You ride far and you go fed. He could do it all because he was a business owner, but I ain't had no way to show nothing. So, you know, young nigga, I want to ride slab. <laughs> but I had the bag, so when I'm thinking these boys got the slabs and the jewelry, I'm like, damn. So when he go to jail and I'm having to get different connects and do different things on the slide, man, this nigga running off with 17.5. This nigga here lying about he got this and he lying. I'm like, so y'all ain't got no money for real? Yeah, nah, them niggas to put some cars together in two, three years. You feel me? Nah, they no put, money, nah, they man. put all this shit into their car. That's what he's saying, nigga was put. That was what you see. Definitely. Yeah. That's what you see. That you had. Cash out. You know what I'm saying? Where did Boss Hall come from, man? Cause my my recollection, screw tape. That's what I first heard. You know what I'm saying? Hard job. Right up. Hard job. That's who gave you that name. Yeah, man. He he gave me that. We had a little incident that we'll go into later. You know. Well, you know, everybody know about the little supposedly kidnapping shit or whatever, but that's how the name was spun because I'm still here and I can't, I can talk about it, but it's so much I can't talk about it because yeah. the ones who allegedly did what they did no longer here no more. Yeah, yeah, so loud. So that's how the boss hog came out of that. Another real nigga. Hey, yeah. Hey, he was on some boss hog shit at that time. Ah, tripping with myself. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Tripping with myself. A lot of shit that we can say that we, the roads we've been down, that made us who we are today, though. Yeah, you know, know, like I know. You know what I mean? You know, like I know, bro. Yeah, nah, real. This shit crazy. You can sit here and talk your shit because of them choices and them decisions you made, and you still here to talk your shit. Mm -hmm. We ain't glorifying nothing. You oh, know, nah. We just letting y'all come in, into the world of Carleone tonight, man. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? That's all this about, man. Tell us about hustling on Stella Link, man, and, and, and South Main, and, and, and a little bit about the West. Man, bro, we was some of the first ones that went out to the Southwest. That Parker Braveswood, where, the, where, where Bleeder them from. Come on, man. That was one of the first places we landed when we started going. I was still at Ballet at this time. High school. Yeah, we was bringing Third Ward and Sunnyside flippers out there. And like I said, on Stella Link, the same, South Main, same oh, yeah. thing. We taking the game out there. It's like going out of town back right. then. Yeah. So we taking a dime rock that's selling Sunnyside. She like, baby, I can take a dime point. rock that's, that's a 50. Damn. It's a 50. You got me, me, ta -ta, like yeah, you taking it and breaking yeah. it three ways, and you right. giving a nigga three twenties for 50. Come on, man. That was the best deal. But yeah, back yeah. then, it was all white folks buying work. Come on, man. Southwest was, yeah. The Southwest is our babies that grew up. Huh. Mm. Talking 30 years ago. So our babies that grew up, we thought we was moving out the hood. Right. We just relocated bad seeds, each one of us. And all them seeds grew and tore that side of town down. Fuck that side off. Stella yeah. Link, Death, Death Valley. Barely next. <laughs> oh, it's already bad, but to be at the old Pearland, I don't know if we're going to get nothing with the new Pearland, but Link Valley, a.k.a. Death Valley, 610 and Stella Link, always Come on, a man. bad motherfucker, bro. With all them little parkers and shit right there. Bro. Man, that shit, I, I mean, I got the I got the tail end of that. I made a million over that when I was young, bro. Right. I was one of the first. See, the Mexicans had a stronghold on it, but they sold powder. I right. saw rocks. Rocks they keep they them, them rocks, rocks keeping them hoes coming back. They were smoking back. Rock. But motherfuckers ain't know how to cook rock. They ain't know no so rock. we going over there. They not worried about the money. I'm I'm not that big a deal. I'm yeah. coming over here moving four, five ounces, bust down in rocks in a day, yeah. making a billion dollars off these hoes. Oh, At that time, uh, hell, it was as young as Death Valley, Link Valley, Stella Link. I remember Gary D., Used to give a nigga 10 off, like, like we get 10 rocks, and one is your profit, 10 off 100. Yeah. But I could take them rocks and bust them three ways, go on Stellar Link, and make 
four hundred dollars. So he think I'm making ten dollars. I'm pocketing three hundred, getting him his hundred, coming on back. I bounce back now. I can buy my own now. Yeah, I one flip. I'm well, about a day. A couple yeah. flips. Yeah. You go back and forth, and you just whoop, whoop, whoop. You up a great. I never went to sleep with less than a rack in my pocket. Come on, man. Profit. That used to be my thing to make a thousand dollars a day. Yeah. Every day though. Come on, man. Boy, the that's, game is so good. That's, that's 30 in a month. Yeah, that was, that was the motto. You know, we balling. And the lease. And we balling all the yeah. Man, nigga, 30 bands is like 100 we bands. Balling. I always said, yeah. see, Street Military yeah. told us we was going to die for 21. Yeah. Come on, bro. So I thought I would be either rich by 21 and out the game or dead by 21 Damn. and leaving my mama a gang of money. Nigga, 401k was said at 21 to retire, nigga. Yeah, I was oh, sharper man. as a kid than I am now, to be honest with you, as far as the discipline, because it was like I had guidance. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when you got people that care about you, that's, that's showing you, and I had a mama that was an entrepreneur. Yeah. So I knew what the business looked like. So she like, hey, do this with it. See, she, was, she wasn't down with that shit till it pays some bills. Yeah. And when she seen I knew what I was doing, she walked in there. When I said on that serenity song, she found guns in my room for say I got to move. She, she helped me move. But the thing is, she walked in there and seen all that guap on the bed. She knew it was real. Like, it's real. This boy got 20,000, five tens of ones on the bed, chains and shit. I'm ironing the money. You know how we were about that money back yeah, then. Stack it up in $100 yeah. bill. And I got this shit all looking pretty, pretty, way. pretty. Yeah. All heads the same. Way. He had no ditty all the heads, the money rings. Like my baby mama used to tell me, Tasha, love you to death, baby. She used to tell me, how you keep your money is how you get your how you get your money is how you keep your money. Yeah. If you keep it balled up in your pocket, you pull all your heads the same way you put the five with the five, the tens with the tens, and the twenty. You know somebody fucking with your shit too. Yeah. You can tell somebody been fucking with your yeah. shit if you don't yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. But you just keep your money neat money. You take care of money, money take care of you. That's right. That was the motto. For sure. Hey man, when was the first time, bro? Cause you one of them OT niggas, right? <laughs> and, 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 and what, like, uh, gave you them goddamn balls that big? Cause you know, I'm a nigga, man. I'm a South Carolina nigga, bro. Like, I, it used to be hard for me to lead a hood, bro. I want to sell something in the rock right there on that corner, bro. And then to just hear about, man, these niggas getting a million dollars, man. Jumping on planes and trains and boats and you feel me and whatever to get to the bag. Yeah. But that shit takes some, you gotta drag some heavy nuts, man. Bro, being from Louisiana and having to go back every summer and see my grandma them and this, that, and the third, when the crack hit, see it, nigga, I go home one summer and everybody want what I'm back there doing. I done figured out. The only place I said I went hustle was in Dale High where my grandmother from. But Lafayette, Eunice, Alexandria, Monroe, bro, that shit was... But we first started going to Nacogdoches first. Mm. I, I was so young when we got busted. Cause we got, they ran in the crack house and I wasn't there. But I'm at the room and niggas snitched me all the way back to the room. They come to the room, get me. I'm so young, guy, that they had to face me. They took a picture for the paper because they found out the money in the room and linked the crack back to them. And so they had like one of the first Houston Nacogdoches dope runs, right? I'm so young, they made me face the wall. I couldn't even show my face because I was a juvenile. Yeah, yeah, because they, 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 they yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't, yeah, right. yeah. You they couldn't it? put my name in the paper and they couldn't put my face in the yeah. paper because I was a dude. Yeah. Yeah. And my mama, and, and, yeah, and my mama came and got me and I was like 80. Come on, man. This is everybody money. This snowfall days. Man. Yeah, this, this, but I had everybody money though. So like yeah. we three, four deep go down there. You, you, you run they had to, yeah. Well, now they here, like, but yeah. they working. I'm through. It was my birthday. I was coming home to buy a Jag for my birthday at 16. Right. Why well, I had the Benz? I was finna put that Jag. I had a Park Avenue, the Benz. The park was mine on Swainers. I bought that from Hammer. Now I was coming to get a Jag for my 16th birthday. Ain't gonna put that bitch on the Momos, white in size. Right. That's when the farmers start hitting. Yeah. Come on, man. Nigga, be, they the laws get me on my birthday. And we give you, we let y'all Yeah, know, it's shit crazy. Right. It's ball, how, yeah, so it was, Louisiana was second. Yeah. yeah. 
So what was further? That Nacogdoches was first. Me, oh, Gary D, and Pimp Money was running up and down there. You but know you what I'm saying? It cost yeah. yeah. And then we, and once I got a taste of that, we just, they kept going to Nac. I didn't want to go to Nac no more. Because I felt like, man, somebody told them I was in that room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a sour had taste in my mouth. Now. Yeah, then when we leaving, we got into it, sure, and shot a nigga. Like, it was too much going on. Yeah, they yeah, had yeah, that yeah. bitch wide open. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, they it was die, go to jail. Like. It was, see, boys know Dabao County, that Nacogdoches, that's Dry County. Yeah, hey, bro, that's, a, a, hey, them boys get okay. money out there, bro. Yeah, we was getting real money in that, you know what I mean? But I start, I let them do that. I kind of fell back. Because I always had Stella Lynn South Main as my stronghold. Yeah, yeah, that's, even that's Third Ward, in, even in the alley was me, me, thighs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I always had to fall back on. I just kind of went into my own metamorphosis. That's when I transformed from Lil Mike to Mike D. And that's when I got reacquainted with Bam and he got out. It was all and that's what kind of pushed me and then that's you know what I mean it took me in a whole nother mm -hmm. you know what I mean because when he got busted and working at BAMS is how I met screw Pat yeah that's what I was gonna Corey Blunt yeah that was the connection to all that yeah, yeah. yeah that's right uh -huh. yeah. you know what I'm saying you ever got fucked up out there and had to and had to do any time in the uh out, out of town no uh California, I had some warrants out there. I made, I didn't even make it to the Twin Towers in Cali, but I did had to go to like the little substation, but I never got, I never got, yeah, besides that Nacogdoches as a teenager shit, I always slipped through the crack. I played it, I go, got it. I took my own work out of town. I worked with my own money and I dealt with my own people, so I, you know. Talk about. Yeah, it's me. It's me. Yeah, it is me. It's me. I'm standing it's on me. what I'm standing on, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the safest you can play it, brother. Tell That's you. right. Straight up. So, so man, I want to I wanna ask you, bro, how, how did the screwed up click start, bro? A man. bunch of niggas don't know that shit, bro. Like, niggas don't know how. how you know what I'm saying? Niggas just think niggas just got there one day, just got to start rapping in the house one day. Nah, I think it started. To be honest, it was going on before niggas knew what it was. Like, so you got like some underground cooks. Shit. Where you got no, you like got just a, you gun. got a bunch of real niggas that's going fuck with a real DJ. That's a real nigga. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everybody having a relationship with that one man without having relationships with each other. But we all doing the same thing in each other. Nate, Southside used to be very segregated before screw. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was just one of them ones that could, I had citizenship in Sunnyside, South Union. Dead in. Dead in. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That drink took me to each hood to put it in the hoods. Right. You know what I'm saying? And before that, I was just one of them that young niggas that. that was just a likable guy that just, it, I was still the same network king that I am today. Like had the same gift for gab to right, right, right. move around. So <clears throat> during, during a time when it wasn't cool to be on these sides of different right. parts of the neighborhood. It's strange if you really ain't got that plug. That's well, they're not gonna let you get close. And Screw yeah. became the nucleus the and the denominator that that I mean, everybody, I mean, yeah. the common denominator that everybody was doing. Because it come to find out, damn. Mike D, them sip sip, such and such. And C note, them sip sip, and fuck with. And such and such. Now you got these girls that's going from click to click, cause you know, and then telling you, man, I was with uh, Scott and Sock last yeah. week, they woo to woo. Oh, yeah, they doing then now. We meeting at these hotels, and but we all jamming this one tape, these tapes. Right. which is screw tapes, which was your own personal tape at the time. Come on, man. So that's how it started going is when and now I want to hear what Gotti tape. I don't want to just listen to my tape no more. Well, them boys, I heard D Gotti in South Lawn made a tape with Rex Shop, and I want to hear that. Right, yeah. So when I hear it, we all doing the same things, and I think that's more how it started. It's just like <clears throat> everybody, because what boys don't know, the screwed up click is, is not all rappers. You know that. Like, I know. Absolutely. Like, it's more non-rappers. Right. Yeah, that's actually screwed up click. Yeah. 
that screw that like and you would say screw the pig and screw friends. It really should be screw friends. Right. You know what right. I mean? So okay. and that's really how I don't think it start being a rap part until three in the morning till it start making sense. So we start Southside Players and DEA and yeah. Rec Shop and you know so forth and so on. I think that's what started it to be Small a click Manage, to where it's a rap click. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And who masterminded uh, uh, the SSP, bro? Man, mm. me. Me and Pat, man. It was a dream. Pat, well, I financed it. It's, it's you looking at my money, Pat Dream, and Three Two Fame. Okay. How Clay though and T Pop get into me? That was after Pat died. So the, the SSP album Pat died when Pat died. I was just I financial. Tell me about that. When I told him about being at Troy early, I wasn't turned on by music. But Pat was one of them. Y'all know, bro. He believed in himself, bro. Yeah, yeah. He sold it. He, it. he, he it. sold it. But he had to. He clicked to me. Because three two was the man. Right. That three two was that guy. Yeah, yeah, that but this is my know. best friend. Three so we together every day. So Pat getting cool with me to get cool with three. Yeah. Three wasn't no easy person. He was like damn near yeah. early zero almost. Yeah, goddamn. Come on, man. Right. Yeah, man. He smoke his own square right. down he to the no, to the pass that You ain't nobody. passing it. Don't no fingerprints. Yes, none of that. The cup. You better Stop. not ask that nigga to hit his cup. You nasty yes, lip nipple you. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, you can't hit this. Yeah. Yeah. Don't touch that boy. Right. Yo, I trust you, I see. Yeah, I see Tracy. You do it, Tracy. I see. And they call me Dirty Dick Bone. Dirty Dick Bone. I'm fucking too much. Your dick gotta be dirty. The Dirty Dick Bone. Dirty Big Dick Bone Dixon. That nigga that. No fingerprints. That boy might be nasty. <laughs> Rest in peace. See you in his boss, man. Rest Today, in peace. Man. They don't know that he was the one that influenced Snoop style. Come on, man. They sent him to California Big Mike. when they was um, early. How, how, how did you and Fat Pat meet? At Bam. At Bam. That's how you met everybody. That's how I met everybody. Everybody, Rhino and Randy, you know, when I started putting drink in each hood, because I strategically would give Mo some boxes. I wouldn't give them the boxes and bottles. I would give them to them already bust down. So I go to Ricky Renee in South Park. KK them had a drink house back there too. They had Lord Means. I had Hunt. That was my godfather. We go into that. You know what I mean, no, Miss Reader? I know Lord Means. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was, it was, so you know, you was either on one side or the other. You know what I mean? They was both fucking Miss Rita. So that was Mr. Hunt White. You know what I mean? So by them doing that, they didn't too much like each other. But this my god daddy, though. Like, my daddy best friend. Uh, yeah. That, and he came up to the shop one day, and uh, they washing his car. I used to always check the inside to make sure that the the, the the detailers don't steal nothing. So, and especially if you pull up or somebody pull up that I know somebody, I'm gonna go in there and make sure you ain't left no money, your beeper, your, cause we had integrity up there. You know, if you left something in your car, bam, I don't care if you left 20 ounces, we gonna put it in a bag for you and it's gonna be in there. That was why people loved us. Yeah, it's like taking that, your yeah. clothes to the cleaners and your cleaner people put your money in a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah that's that. So what I did was he had a paint under the seat. And when I seen it, I said, damn, I sure that bitch back under there. I said, ooh, we used to drink sweet beer. I wasn't even thinking about hustling, to be honest. I'm thinking about it. when we get out of work, we finna get high, we finna lean, we finna go pour this in some wine cooler. We finna cause boom, we doing like boom. it wasn't even boom for a wine cooler. Wow. We take it and put it in wine cooler. Cause we go to Mercy House and get the little cup for twenty five dollars. Right. Hold them. Not right there at Third Ward, right? I mean right on OST, the little ice house right there, the little gray one. That was the Mercy House. Yeah, you walk in there, you get a quarter. You get a you get a quarter or fifty. You get the tall cup for fifty and you get to that so it was a deuce and a four. Yeah. Hey man, can you give us one dope experience, man? With with with, with Pimpin' Chris, man, cause we just want a goddamn
know, <laughs> this part one, y'all. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to end up at BAMS tomorrow. You know we'll really, we'll really go there. And we're going to go there some more. You feel what I'm saying? But, man, I just want to just just let these people know, man. You know what I'm saying? Because Pimp and Chris, man, you feel me? I know that was your best friend, bro. You feel me? And he just, he, he left us so sudden, bro. You know, where was you at, man, when, 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 when you got the news that he had passed away, D? Man, I was in, I was in Cali, bro. Come on, man. I was in Cali, man, and it's so sad, man, because like you know, before he left, his addiction was 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 on the better side of him, you know. Yeah, man. And um, me and Rose seen him at the barber shop a few days before that shit happened. Before I shot back out, and then, but you know, he's funny as hell, right? So Rose had that van with them swingers on it. Remember that little Astro van? Yeah, yep. And that fool had just got it washed up and three looking at his reflection through the through the uh two prong, right? <laughs> and nigga say, That's a pimpin' Chris. What did they say? That's a pimpin' Chris. <laughs> what the fuck did that nigga say? Rose will be a row, we laughing at that nigga talking about and he talking about it's a pimpin' Chris in the wheel, oh boy yo yo. He looking at himself in the top. <laughs> Me and Ro died because the wall of fucking with him making him yeah, think like he, he not he him. But no, nah, he see a pimping oh, Chris. Pimpin Chris. Nah, he's yeah. not pimping Chris. He's somebody else, third person. It's a pimping Chris in that wheel. In that wheel. So we laughing, but the thing was, it was embarrassing because I had just started really, really fucking with Ro like heavy, heavy every day. Yeah. And it's like you taking your partner that's like, you know he finna be more embarrassing if you put him in the car and then y'all go and you know how Ro was. You know what I mean? You know how Ro is. So like, you over here, we not gonna get the work done. We was finna do because three finna be on some high yeah. shit. Now, if you yeah. catch him before he got high, everybody go to Yeah, but, and another thing, if he was high and you just put them headphones on him and put him in the booth, but it's the part of getting from A to, to B. Car. You gonna get you gotta get him in the car. You gotta get him. Yeah, it's an episode. You know, it's an episode. Yeah. And he know I never liked when he smoked it. And I never let him around me. And I stood so stiff with that. But this one time, I wish I would have just let him get in the grab. car with me. It wasn't before he went and died. It was just a few days. Like, it wasn't the same day. It was like no, you know, a week. It, I'm thinking it days. It could have been a few weeks. Yeah. But being embarrassed and just standing on that, if you high, you can't be by me with that. Nah, nah that's another level, bro. Hey, especially when you didn't grow. You, you, I'm you way know. on another level now, bro. We stopped. Oh, when I ain't never really smoked fried a couple times, did, but that shit played out oh, in my past, bro. Ro ain't even on that shit right now. But he, I didn't know he had a better understanding of it than me. I just kind of shunned him off and... I just wish he would have gotten the car with us and I could have just said something that made him not smoke no, no more no. after that day. Yeah, because had he, not, had he not been high, he don't die, bro. You yeah. riding with some fry heads, y'all talking shit, three gonna rank you down. So he riding with his club. Yeah, this nigga feeling embarrassed because it's them three and three going to ride you. You know how he is. I, can, I wouldn't now, but I can only imagine. Man, if man. that nigga shot three in the back of the head, bro, he, he was, was, was mad. He was he mad because three going to ride you. Boy, you can't drive the car, boy. Pull it over, boy, y'all. Let me out, boy, because I will beat you, boy. I will no, he can't fight a goddamn mosquito. I will beat, but his mind don't let you think. Oh, man. He's going to sell it. Pippin' Chris going to sell it. Rest in peace, man. Rest in peace. He was a real nigga, man. You feel me? We just, we just, man, remembering our partner. You know what I'm saying? It just, it, that's always like that, though. You wish you could just have that last moment with your people and something that you could have said or could've did all, that could have, that could have had him here with us today. Right now, man. Yeah. You know, I, I think about that all the time, man. You know, all, all the, uh, the, the, the soldiers we lost, bro. You know what I'm saying, man? It's, it, it's, what, what, them niggas. A billion dollars was lost. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Screw, Bad, yeah. Mafio, Mo. It's a hundred. Just the name, man. That's a, that's a, that's man a couple billion. And we took because if school was still here, everybody that that's affiliated with this shit'll be, man, rich, super rich. Cause you know that that, that nigga was taking everybody with him, man. He had that type of heart. You know what I'm saying? And this, hey, man, man, we just brought y'all into the world of Kylie on, man. This part one, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna catch back up at Bams tomorrow. The show, so we got show. something special for y'all, man. I'm gonna get this ball on this drop mic, y'all. Uh oh, you want uh -oh. you, you, you want me to do something? And we going down right. through there. You feel me? Right. Only for God if I. We live at Bam Bar, y'all. Stay tuned, man. It's up, man. Hey, y'all live on God if I's, man. Y'all pay attention. Stay down, man. This is how real niggas help each other get to the top. We won, man. Y'all don't look at us as two. We won, man. This dirty third shit real, man. I support Gotti Files like he support one on one, man. That's why it's on the same network. Can't forget about five in the building, tight eyes, D Rick, KC. Know what I'm talking about? Family shit. Hey, man, family shit, bro. We in here. Bama no big bro. You know what it is, man. Yeah, yeah. zero. One deep entertainment, nigga. What's up, baby? Motherfucker, me down. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie, man. This shit started from a conversation on the porch, y'all. <laughs> you feel me? A year later, man, we on the neck, man, and we just getting started. We ain't really applied no pressure yet, y'all. <clears throat> y'all stay tuned, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no iron team, y'all. You know what it is. That work, nigga. Straight up. Peace. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder why I'm outside. Southside, 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 Southside.